Hey, this is Jack at Anatomy Zone, and in this tutorial, we're going to go through the pectoralis major muscle. So the pectoralis major is a large fan-shaped muscle which is located in the anterior of our thorax and it forms the bulk of our chest wall and it's one of the most powerful muscles of the upper body. It actually has two distinct muscle heads, the clavicular head and the sternocostal head. The clavicular head originates from the anteromedial half of our clavicle, as you can see. The sternocostal head originates from the anterior surface of our sternum. The costal cartilages of ribs 1 to 6. And also the aponeurosis of the external oblique muscle. And often these two heads are actually separated by a small cleft between the two. But from their origin points, these two heads then converge to form a flat tendon that's about four or five centimetres in diameter that then inserts into the lateral lip of the bicipital groove, which is also known as the intertubercular sulcus of our humerus. So this tendon is bilaminar, and that is it consists of two lamina, an anterior and a posterior lamina. The thicker anterior lamina receives fibres from the clavicular and upper sternal pectoral fibres, whereas the posterior lamina receives the deeper fibres which originate from the costal cartilages. In terms of its action, the two heads of the pectoralis major actually do slightly different things. So the clavicular head flexes the humerus, with the sternocostal head, because of the fibre direction, when our arm is in a flexed position, this part of the pectoralis major muscle will perform extension of our humerus back to the anatomical position, but no further than this. So in essence, these two muscle heads can be thought of working opposite to one another if you consider them in isolation. But when they work together, they then perform adduction of the humerus, and medial or internal rotation of the humerus. In terms of its nerve supply, the pectoralis major is innervated by two nerves and they arise from the brachial plexus, the medial and lateral pectoral nerves. So the medial pectoral nerve originates from the medial cord of the brachial plexus and the lateral pectoral nerve originates from the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. From a blood supply perspective, the pectoralis muscle gets its arterial supply from the thoracoacromial artery or trunk. So you can see here the auxiliary artery. That gives off a branch that's called the thoracoacromial artery. And from there, the pectoral branches are given off, which supply the pectoralis major with its arterial blood supply. So that's the anatomy of the pectoralis major muscle. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to Anatomy Zone. The 3D models using this tutorial were powered by the amazing and free anatomy learning app. Go check it out for yourself at anatomylearning.com.